week's video. I've actually just got back from Sydney. I was there at the Google offices, like learning about like YouTube and stuff. So I was a little bit busy. Came around to like Saturday and I was like, I may as well just wait till Tuesday to upload the next video. So here I am alone in this room. As you can tell by the title of this YouTube video, I got lost in Sydney. And I'm gonna tell you about that story. But first, I need to do a quick thank you. While I was away, someone sent me this. Somehow they found my address, but that's okay. It's a painting of me playing soccer. On the back it says, Hi Jamie, I really like watching your videos. They make my day. I hope you like my painting of you playing soccer. Love, Claudia Harding. I thought it deserved at least a shout out in the video because look at it. Back to the story. I was at the Google offices from about 9 to 5 and after 5 um, they let us run free. So I went back to the hotel with my agent and I decided I'd go out shopping. I didn't tell her, I was just like, oh, she's probably like busy doing stuff. So I decided to go out to the wilderness, not really wilderness, Sydney's buildings and stuff. The road that all the shops were on was the same road that my hotel was on. So I was like, okay, I'll just stay on this road and I can just walk up and down and you know, I'd find my way back easily. I decided to just go down like this alleyway. It wasn't an alleyway, it was like a side street. No cars were allowed down it, but like there were shops all down it. I started just sort of walking further down this alleyway thing and most of the shops are shutting. So I was like, okay, I'll go back to my hotel now. And so I turned around and I saw this guy like shutting these gates to this mall. And I was in the mall before and basically you can just cut straight through it and you'll come out the other side to where the road is. And I was like, oh, I'll go through there. He was shutting the gate so I was like, okay, I'll sneak under. So I sort of just walked under and he, he smiled at me like, lol, you sneaky, sneaky girl. So I was walking in this mall and I go down these stairs and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna come out the other side anytime soon now. And I keep walking and I'm keeping walking and there's no other side. I was like, I can't turn around, the guy shut the door, they're locked. You can't, I just have to keep, keep on keeping on. Turns out it's not a mall. It's a train station. Okay, I'll just keep walking, just keep walking. And I was the only one heading my direction. Everyone else was coming like in waves to this way. And I was like, oh my God, like what do I do? And so I keep walking and I keep on walking and I'm like, okay, now here's the exit. Nope, wasn't an exit. It was more stairs going down. So I get to the end of this mall tunnel thing and I come out the other side and I have no idea where I am. I didn't recognize any of the buildings. It's just, buildings. In Napier, we don't have any buildings like taller than like two stories. So these these buildings are like 20 stories. And I was like, um, <sighs> I was like, okay, I'll go left. So I started to walk left and I'm walking and walking and walking. And I'm like, I'm going to have to ask someone. I have no idea where I am. So I go up to this lady and, excuse me, do you know where the, uh, English? Eng she didn't freaking speak English. I mean, that's not her fault. I mean, obviously, but in the meantime, I had these coins in my pocket, and like, I hate coins. So there was this like homeless dude on the side of the road, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll give you some coins. So I get all my coins, I put them in his little hat, and he goes, thank you, ma'am, have a good night. That was my Australian accent, that was, that was really bad. Okay, good, he speaks like English, he seems pretty normal, and I was like, excuse me, sir, do you know where the Ibis Hotel is? Yeah, you gotta head back down that way. <laughs> Just pretend I'm doing a really good Australian accent, and he says, head down that way. And so I'm walking, 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 and I realize I'm kind of getting further away from where I need to be. I don't know what to do, I'll jump in a taxi and I'll say, here, take me this place, and off we go. So I go to open the taxi door and it's locked. And I knock on the window, the guy winds down the window, and he goes, sorry, I'm done for the night. I was like, okay, that's fine. Could you please tell me where the Ibis Hotel is? And he goes, watch one, there are three. There are three different Ibis Hotels in Sydney. That's just my luck. I couldn't remember whereabouts the hotel was. Oh, it's by the um the bridge, and there's a, another hotel next to it. And he goes, um um um, like the building next to it's like this. And then there's like the bridge with like the flags, and then there's like a bunch of restaurants, and then there's like water, and um, ah, uh, there's like an old boat, and it's like a restaurant, and then there's like the museum and the aquarium and stuff. And he goes. Oh, Darling Harbour. Yeah, head straight down that way. And I'm walking, walking, walking. And I see this building that has like these tiles on it. And I'm like, I recognize those tiles. That was by Topshop. I disobey the direction the taxi driver gave me. And I turn right and I just start running. I need to run and get my ass out of there because I am gonna die otherwise. And I can kind of hear like whistles like, Jamie, Jamie's what? And I'm like, you know what? You can't, no, stop, I'm gonna run. So if you saw some girl running down the street in Sydney, it was probably me, and you're probably wondering, why don't you just text your agent? Well, my phone didn't work in Sydney. Anyway, so I finally make it back to my hotel, and 
that was my story of being in the big city. It was weird because I've never been lost before. Like in Napier, if you're lost, you're not lost. So lesson learned, don't think your Dora the Explorer can go exploring in the big city because you'll get lost and you'll end up running around crying and... <gasps> so that's the video for this week. I hope it wasn't too boring. And... Turns out the wrong side of the bed is the right side. Get out of bed on the left and I smile wide. Cause I know I'm gonna make this big. It's the best of both worlds, I can change my wig. Get it? Time to show what we each do. Call stupid, but we smile when we need to. Screw logic, let's get crazy. We is the new normal, like the world is Jamie's. You can't blame me, cause I can't be lame. I'm just trying to have fun, keeping it on replay. Be an idiot, rapping, act ruthless, screaming like. Thanks to rap, baby, do it. So the table's breaking in, I'm mistaken, like it's another David.